Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Crossroads Inn, where apparently today we're going to learn gardening, which I'm very excited about. I've been waiting to learn how to plant things in the ground outside our tavern. But let's start this episode off with something a little more traditional, things I've been doing wrong that the comment section has corrected me on. Thank goodness for the comment section, otherwise I would have trashed this in a long time ago. One of my most finicky issues was with the fence not snapping together. This just didn't corner up the way I wanted it to. And I thought it was sort of a, eh, the game's brand new, maybe that's a bug or a glitch or something like that. I, I thought it was in the mechanics of the game, but no, indeed, it's actually frighteningly easy to correct. Thank you again to my comment section. So if we are in furnish mode here and I hold this and then I hit control while I'm holding it, well, now I can move it around wherever I want, so long as it doesn't actually go through another object. So now I can slide this fence right up here, and now it snaps the way I want it to. Now it links up nicely and actually looks like a fence. I kind of want to do the rest of the fence now, but I can't afford to spend the Gordons at the moment. I know, I am well aware my tavern is laid out rather efficiently in terms of the storage and the dishwasher and the whatnot and the kitchen. People are basically having to walk a lot of paths to get things done. So to get a dirty dish, to go to wash the dirty dish, to cook the food, that's kind of a long-term plan that I have in terms of getting this thing a little bit more efficient. It's never going to be 100% efficient. Welcome to the wee hours. Ain't no one tuning in for competent gameplay. There are times, many times, in fact, where I'm going to do things for aesthetics rather than for gameplay efficiency. But there are some other things I've learned from the comment section. Number one, I had no idea that the bar had its own storage. I thought this was just sort of a central hub that was sort of a requirement for this being a tavern, but no, no. This has, get me, uh, sorry, out of furnish mode. Get me out of that. Let's go to the actual bar. I had no idea this had its own storage. Everything seems to have its own storage around here. So if we go to storage and storage settings, we can put plates, dirty plates, mugs, dirty mugs. What I believe, if I understand the comments correctly, and I, I you know, reserve the right to be corrected, I always do, I, I am frequently, is we should probably not have dirty plates and mugs here. Just clean plates and mugs. That's probably a best place. So if I understand it, they're gonna grab a clean mug, they're gonna go over to the barrel, and we did reset the storage in these two barrels. So one of them is just lager, one of them is just wine. So they're gonna grab a clean mug, they're gonna go over to the barrels, which are quite far away. I know that, they, sh they should ideally be right behind the bar, but here's where they live for right now. And then they're going to fill up the mug with the appropriate beverage and give it to the customer. Now, the dishwasher has its own own storage. So this, we should probably set for just dirty things. So no clean plates and no clean mugs need to live in here. Just dirty plates and mugs, that kind of makes sense. That's literally what a dishwasher is. Okay, with those underway, I need to check this room because there was some feeling or discrepancy that this may not actually be what I think it is. I may have set this up as a private room like we did for the Countess over here. So let me see what exactly this room is and if we need to change it. So this room is listed as a guest room. Now I, I could change it, but it is a guest room at the moment. And going into my build mode, that seems to be what I want it to be, a guest room where tired travelers, plural, can sleep in vacant beds if they're comfortable with snoring and nosy other tired travelers. So I think I've got this set up correctly. This is exactly what it should be, a guest room with multiple beds. Now we did unlock the dormitory, which is, I guess a different type of multiple guest room. We'll kind of cross that bridge when we come to it, and I'm sure I'll mess it up. But right now, I, I want to address the gardening issue because we've unlocked that. The Countess wanted a very specific food, and I don't want to be in that mode. I want to be in that mode. She wants a very specific food, which require potatoes, and we can't buy potatoes. We've got to grow our own. So this is, what is this? This is a, okay, a garden plot. And actually, you know what? Why don't I use my handy dandy little control key here to get this to be exactly where I want it to be. I feel, actually, do, you know, do I want it there at all? Do I want this more front and center? 
No, no, this should be at the back. I kind of regret putting the private room here because I, I really kind of wanted this over with the other stuff. But you know what? I'm probably going to end up blowing this whole place apart and redesigning it anyway. So well, we'll just pop that right there for now. Should I get a second one? No, I should probably figure out how they work first. Okay, get out of that. I'm I'm just going to guess this has its... Int oh, oh, sorry, I'm still in furnished mode. Okay, you know what? You can live for right there. Right there for now, that's where you live. Yeah, this has its own sub-menu here. Right, what do we got going on here? All right, it's a garden patch. Got that. Storage settings. Select things to store. Okay, so we're not storing things there, but I bet we're going to select things to grow here. Right now, everything about it is terrible. Soil quality, watering, and condition. So how do I plant? There we go. So we've got plant, fertilize, water. The next thing I want to do after we get this planted properly is I want to figure out who's actually doing all of this is, oh, we've only got the choice of potatoes. Okay. I would assume down the road this will have a little menu to it and there'll be, I don't know, carrots, lettuce, whatever it is we're growing here. But right now, just potatoes live there. So that is successfully done. Is that correct? Yes, we have planted potatoes in our garden patch. Now, who deals with this? What employee deals with gardening. Like Tancredi here, you're a drudge. What do you do exactly? Farming, aha, there we go. You are gonna deal with the farming. Now, right now, that's sort of a mid priority for you. What it, oh, I need more staff. I totally need more staff. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it right there, Tancredi, and actually turn the game on for a second so we can generate some money and see if you jump on that, or if really I should probably get another drudge. I was also advised in the comment section that, you know, more staff, the better. The staff pay for themselves because things just get done around here. And considering how filthy the place is, I feel another drudge. Uh, like, who are you? Are you Eric? Yeah, you're Eric. Aren't you my kitchen guy? Yeah, no, you're a drudge too, okay. All right, fair enough. Um, I feel I need... E oh, hi. Hello. Um, you have fabulous hair. What's your deal? Alstero. Right. May all the monsters scatter and hide, and all the bandits die of fright. Two Fish Alstero. Okay, best name ever, game of the year. Two Fish Alstero have arrived, currently on a glorious quest. Well, what exactly is it do you want? Who are the knights errant? Um, warriors of Delcris join together in their thirst for honor and glory. Fantastic. If that poor soul be a beautiful lady, the knights errands will be there even sooner. So you're in favor of the countess, which the, the woman from the last episode was not. Yeah, he's wicked keen on talking about the countess. My relationship with him is tightened, but do we want to bother the countess? I'm going to say yes. Yeah, oh, hi, and there's the Countess. Right, right. Uh, I see you've brought something with you, pray explain. The Two Fish Alstero, the representative, that's a great name, representative of the Order of the Knights Errant. Oh, Alyssa really didn't like that, though. Oh, the idea of a private room is rather mutually exclusive with bringing any old vagabond in here. Yeah, you're not wrong, actually. I just totally asked a stranger to come in your room. I don't know. He said Knight Errant, and his, his name was Two Fish. How can you go wrong with that? But no, the Countess was not super keen on that right. Um, but um, Alstero, old Two Fish here, doesn't seem to be that fussed by it. Right on. Oh, and I got my... I got my happy music you did something thing. So wh what what exactly is it that I, that I did here? No, nothing new has popped up here. See, see, I'm remembering to check my journal at all times and claim the rewards. And having said that out loud, I should check other parts of the journal right now. So guest expectations and behaviors, we have all of these covered right now. Oh, starting a fight. That's going to get fussy. That's where I'm going to need that security personnel, the thug there. I was also, seeing as I happen to be right here, I was also told, you know, don't be afraid to spend the points that we've got here. We've got eight points left over. Um, don't be afraid to spend them. I don't actually know how we generate them. If you know in the comment section, please let me know. What is generating these points? Is it when we check off little boxes on our quests? That would be my assumption. Like maybe every time we get the little happy you did something noise, we get another point. I'll have to check that. 
You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to blow through all of these points. And then when I get my next little doodly doodly doo, you've done something music. I'm going to see if we gained a point. What do I want now? I'm going to start moving up this tree because there's something really good up here. Actually, there's lots of stuff good up here. There's rat sausage eventually. Well, there's the ability to kill rats and the ability to make sausage, and they're on the same tier. I can only imagine those things to go hand in hand there. So maximum amount of goods can be ordered by five. That's fine. That's nice. I'm, I'm not particularly excited about that. Supply carts will move 25% faster. That's good. But here's the one I wanted. Cost of building rooms is lowered by 50 grand. Great. Any way that we save money on construction is good. Now, I've got five points left. What lives after this? Unlocks a fireplace. Oh, that would be nice. I bet I can't afford that. Uh, unlocks washers. Oh, washers for people or different kinds of dishwashers? I'm going to guess washers for people. That That's my, my assumption there. Take a fee from people using the outhouses, killing the rats. Oh, excuse me, obtaining meat from rats, and then there's sausages or darts. That might be kind of fun. Can we just get a dartboard for people to play? That might be kind of cool. Is that a is that an expectation that they have? Um, do they want to play darts? No, they want to gamble and steal. They do want to have a bath, and that's the same icon. So okay, it is. Washing for people. Got it. Really, get drunk is a really way down the tree on priorities. I think that would be like the number one priorities. And then spend time with the nice lady of negotiable affection, as Pratchett said. Okay, fine. I, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. Is there anything over on this tree that I want? Well, we're learning gardening. I may as well unlock carrots. No reason not to do that. And onions, for that matter. And then what? Unlocks larders for storing meat, but it needs ice. Okay, that seems really good. Uh, number of workers for looking for a job. That's nice. Unlocks more land I would very much like. Can I just... Can I have that now? I can. Okay, I can kind of leapfrog over that one. What does that lead to? Advertise... Oh, reduced costs of advertising. That's very good. And 25% chance of getting additional gossip. And the quern. I don't know what that is but it allows us to create flour. I feel I might be getting a little bit ahead of myself on creating food. I mean, we've just, just beginning to master potatoes at this point, the most basic staple. Let's not get into quirning right away. Is quirning a verb? I don't know. It is now. Now what? I'm going to unlock the dartboard. I want to see if we get a dartboard for that. And um, that's the sausage one. We're definitely going to get into some rat sausage. Cauldrons. Do I not already have a cauldron? I feel I already had that. Maybe it's a different cauldron. Maybe it's like an upgraded cauldron. Let's just uh, throw it throw down for employees have a chance of overhearing rumors. We haven't really figured out what all these rumors... Like, like what's his name? Tancredi over here. He's chit-chatting with the Countess right now. And I assume he's gaining some sort of rumors or information. We don't know what to do with that yet, though. Aha! You... You. Are you Eric? You're Eric. Good job on the farming, Eric. Have we, in fact, planted potatoes? Are those in there? Are, are we good to go on potatoes? I'm sure we need to... Uh, okay, yeah, ready in 23 somethings. 23 units of time. Uh, Countess, you're going to be hanging out for a while. Is that 23 hours or 23 days? Because 23 days is going to take a while. I'm probably going to have to do a new order sooner rather than later. I see the wine is getting a little bit low, and some of our ingredients like onions are getting a little bit low. I'm going to let that ride for right now, because I'd like to. I don't have a lot of Gouldens, and I do still have that silly loan out. So I don't want to blow a lot of money, but I would like to renegotiate this area. What I'd ideally like to do is make this into also part of the main hall, and then do another shared guest room i don't know somewhere over here i haven't really made any plans on that but i've got a dartboard i'd like to be using it just for argument's sake how much is the dartboard and, and where exactly does that live dart ah here we go dartboard 350 gulden i'm sure that needs some kind of range like i can't just put that right on the like i can't i there's no possible way i can put it there and that's operational right that, that just doesn't seem right. What if I put it in the guest room? No, don't spend the money right now. Just chill. 
let let things move along a little bit here probably until I need to do my next order and then we'll kind of see where our money's at and it looks like potatoes will be ready in 23 hours not 23 days because just minutes later we're down to ready in 19 so that that must be wow those are really fast growing potatoes totally must be laced with GMOs to get them to go that quickly but there it is we're, we're not um we're not going to meet your dietary needs if you have a no GMO policy in this tavern. You're eating chemically modified potatoes. Let me be super clear about that. What I think I will do with a few more grudens in our pocket is throw down another bed in the guest room. I do see we, we have unlocked a couple of other beds, simple bed one and simple bed two, but we already have quite a bed. And that's just way better than the other beds. And it's not even that much more expensive. So I will, I'm going to put down another bed over here. Yep, get out of that, please. I was informed in the comments section that the beds are basically a license to print money. So we may as well have one more bed that people can use. There does seem to be a lot of people here. Maybe they want to spend the night. All right, let's check the, uh, the old storeroom here. Yeah, okay, wine is getting a little uncomfortably low, but... I think we can cope for right now. Where did the Countess go? Where Where is she? Oh, there she is. Hi. Um, we, we need more staff. I think I need minimum one more drudge and one more servant. Maybe one more kitchen person. Although, you're my kitchen person and you don't really seem to be doing much of anything right at the moment. No, okay. Flavio here is just kind of hanging out so that's fine keep hanging out Flavio I'm gonna look at maybe another servant let me see who's who's out in the job market and there are more new workers popping up so I saw a housekeeper last time but now there's veteran and maid are those just higher tiers of what I already have that so is like is it servant to maid to housekeeper would that make sense are these just higher tiers or are they just completely different staff members so maid well first of all what's your traits you're a slacker and then there's three traits that i i don't know about you i could spend five things to unlock a trait and i have 14 of them do i really want to blow those on just figuring out what mirabella is all about I'd really rather know what exactly it is that you do. So let me uh, take these off one by one here. I'm assuming you're not a guard. I'm thinking you're not a cook and you are a croupier. No, you are a servant of some sort. Okay, got it. I, 133 is not nothing. And I am going to unlock one of your traits. And that is a coward. Okay. Okay. I don't want to blow the rest of my blue scrolls here on unlocking the rest. I'm going to hire you. I'm going to hire you. And then let me look at, take you off. I'd like to look at just drudges. Laredo, what's your deal? You are brave and you are lawful. Okay, I can't guarantee that we're not going to break the law here, Laredo. I, it's not my ideal, but I'm just saying things will happen. Arwell, you're a slacker. And you're smart, though, and you are tough, good immunity, great physique. You sound like a perfect drudge, and you're pretty cheap. You're in. Now, the potatoes are coming along nicely. I should probably figure out where we're putting those. You know what I should do? Hang on, hang on. Pause the game. What I should do is put a storage thing in the kitchen that's just for food. Because then they could just have the food in the kitchen. You know, basically how a kitchen works, Dave. They could have the food in there. Yes, I should totally do that. All right, so furnishing. I need some storagey things, please. What have you got? I've got a storage shelf. Good enough. What's this? Oh, the kitchen table. Right, right, right. And apparently I was told there was a better... Yeah, there's the simple stove. I could have bought that. But you know what? I've got the nicer stove and that's fine. So let's get... Now these boxes, do they actually store things or are they just decorative? I don't know and I, I'm not going to um, put them down. Not with the so few grudens that I have. I'm not going to put them down and take a chance on that. Now this is really going to eat up my kitchen space. 
but that's fine. It kind of goes along with my plan of blowing out this wall at some point and just bringing that into that area. Okay, so that's done. Get out of that and get out of that. Now, let's fine tune the storage a little bit here. So here, no wine, definitely not. No, no water, but I'm gonna see if I can squeeze in a barrel in the kitchen that would hold water. So I'm gonna, so for right now, no water, but we're gonna come back to that idea. No candles. Basically, I just want you to put food in here. No soap. Uh, oh, we get brie. I like brie. I don't actually know what serega is, but I'm going to assume it's a food. We'll keep salt, spices, all of those things in here. Definitely potatoes, because we're, we're going to have... Uh, maybe not poison. Maybe we don't put the rat poison on the same shelf as the food we're serving. No herbs, none of that. Okay, I'm going to narrow this down to just food items live on this shelf. And over here, I'm going to do the exact opposite. So over here, I want no food items. Ah, everything's stored over here, though. I mean, they can keep mugs and plates here. I, I don't really have a problem with that. But I want to fine-tune this, fine this so there's no food on this shelf. Hopefully that's going to work out a little tiny bit more efficiently for the kitchen folk in that all the food will be in the kitchen. They're not going to have to walk back and forth to storage to get the things that they need. So this is a very long list. There's a whole lot of stuff here that we have not even begun to address, but I'm going to check off all the food and they can keep everything else here. And then last thing, I want to put a barrel in here that will just be water. Just water is going to live in here and nothing else. So water, 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 water. Where, where, where's water? Do, do people not want, oh, water, there we go. Yes, and nothing else. Everything else unchecked, please. This is the only place that water is going to live is right in the kitchen because I feel that probably is where they need it the most. The potatoes are almost done, but I notice we have some Gordons on hand. So I'm just going to quickly go over to the bank and pay off some of the loan. Uh, so is this, no, am I taking a loan? Okay, pay back a thousand for right now. That'll lower that. Uh, we still got 18 days left. We've got plenty of time. I could spend two green scrolls to postpone it, but I don't feel we're going to need to do that. All right, little light on the Gouldens right now, but that's fine. We've got our extra bed. We've got some extra staff that obviously we're paying for, but ah, right. The torches are out of wax or candles or whatever that is. I believe wax. So we need to order that because these don't last forever. Yeah, okay. Well, you know what? Where am I at with an order anyway? We're pretty close to needing that. I definitely need some wine and lager and some onions, apparently. Anything else that I'm lacking? I don't immediately... Oh, yeah, actually, lots of things. I have no sausages. I got no nothing here. Let me check my menu. Yeah, we're, we're missing basically everything right now, and I just spent all my gurdens. Okay, I need to come up with some kind of order somewhere. Incredible Farmers is usually pretty good to us in terms of the pricing, so I'm inclined, I'm, I'm kind of been using wine as my baseline, knowing about what that usually costs, and then is it going to be more or less. So 71 is higher than we've paid before, but not crazy higher. So like Peeping Tom, uh, what, what do you got going on here? Your, yeah, your wine is just stupid, Peeping Tom. Um, what are you... Oh, buying a new recipe, right. Right, soldier snack. Yeah, fried egg on toast. Not really that complicated. I'm pretty sure I can figure that out by myself. How about Plowvin? We could. You don't have enough influence. Can I spend some influence in some way? Okay, yes. I could spend five of my blue scrolls to gain influence. And it looks like we're going up in a series of levels. So at level one, it looks like I can probably buy the new recipe. Sure, Plowvin. Okay, great. Now I can buy a new recipe with you. And it's five, another five to get another level of influence. Okay, good enough. What is your new recipe? Just out of idle curiosity. Is it fried eggs on toast? Hash browns. Okay, so we're going on a breakfasty theme here. We've got fried egg on toast. Uh, one commenter suggested it might be French toast. That's also an option. And hash browns. So we're opening up a diner. Fair enough. 
Give a man a hash browns and he'll eat for a day. Give him a steady supply of hash browns and he'll eat them for the rest of his life. No lie there, Crossroads Inn. And putting up my menu and Incredible Farmer's list of products is very handy so I can see exactly what I need. So we have no lager at the moment. We're actually out of lager. Fair enough. Get me... I can't afford a lot. So I'm just going to have to take one for right now. Bread soup, we are missing sausages. Okay, we've got bread and water, but we're missing sausages. All right, get 171. Who and we use sausages. Yeah, we have grilled sausage too. All right, we're just going to have to try and scrape through here as best we can. I'm not even sure I can afford to do this order. Uh, grilled sausage, obviously you're missing the sausages. Breaded mushrooms. What do you feel you're missing here? Because I don't see... We have the oven. We have... I Actually, the price is making people a little bit unhappy. Let's just jack that down a little bit where you're a little more meh about it. Just while I happen to be looking at it. I don't exactly see what you're missing. It seems like you have everything. Moss dumplings, we definitely don't have the potatoes yet. And do we not have... I would have sworn up and down that I ordered all of those things. Maybe I didn't. Okay... Possibly I didn't order those because of the potato issue. That's the only thing I can think of. And having said that out loud, I'm actually not going to order them until we've got potatoes. Because we can't make this anyway until the potatoes are grown. They are almost grown, but some of these things are really pricey. That garlic is 100 all by itself. And what is the other thing? Flour, I assume? Yeah, well, flour is right, relatively cheap. The greens are relatively cheap. It's just I'm already up to 337 and I've only got 808 gulden left. It would actually be smarter for me to order more lager and sausages. Because we're going through the lager pretty quickly. And I'm going to. I This is probably the wrong move. I'm sure I'll probably get some wine. Yeah, I'm going to get some more wine and some more lager. This may not be the smartest thing to do, but basically my plan, such as it is, order that please. My plan is to just kind of coast for a little bit and build up some money. Uh, I meant to get wax. Well, I'm not ordering it now because I'd have to pay another hundred on the shipping. So no. So have we harvested potatoes? Because I'm seeing it's back to 19, 18 now. But that was almost full. Have we harvested some somewhere? And I don't know where they are. Have they put them somewhere silly? I don't see them in my food storage. The only thing over here is some sausages. Which is delightful, but not a potato. Um, what is that on the floor? Are we just storing things on the floor, guys? Have you put potatoes in here? Again, I don't immediately see them. Oh, we're running out of bread. How much money do I have? Not enough. Where where are you people putting potatoes? Does this have storage? Everything has storage. Every single thing has storage. Um, what, what is this? Spreaded mushrooms. Okay, yes. Not a potato. All right, I'm going to pay a little bit more attention to the gardening issue. I've actually directed it to be watered, which I didn't before. I was just kind of letting it run and hoping these guys would take care of that. So I I just saw you water that, but I don't see watering going up here. Have you, have you not done that? I'm not sure. Um, well, don't do it again. Maybe it'll get overwatered. I'm curious as to where they put my potatoes. Have they put it in the desk? Does the desk have its own storage? No, actually the desk is the one thing that you can't store anything in, which is a little counterintuitive to the concept of a desk, but there it is. Uh, did my other order show up, by the way? Do we actually have food and drink around here? There's a lot to keep track of here. Uh, no. No, we have not seen the order from um, the farming place there. It is very dark in here without the torches. Very, very dark without the torches. This is a very dismal inn. Uh, it says my supplies are here somewhere. I, I dispute that unless you packed them up very, very quickly there. Um, well, what's my storage like? Okay, no, actually, yeah, it did show up. There's the lager, there's the wine. It's around here somewhere. No potatoes. No potatoes are in storage at this time. So um, I, I just want to keep a real close eye on the potato issue. Maybe I should bump one of my drudges up to high priority in gardening. 
they'll be focused on it. I just don't know what they're doing with it. I don't know if they're automatically harvesting it and taking it somewhere else, or if I'm just if they're just going bad. If I'm just not paying attention to them and they're just rotting in the soil there, I'm gonna just keep keep back and forth there, back and forth. Keep an eye on the old potatoes. Oh, and the countess is hammered. The countess is absolutely wrecked. Stumbling back to her bed here, waiting for my potatoes. Yeah, sleep it off, Countess. We'll come back. But I think the potatoes are almost done. All right, I can't feed you, but boy, can I get you drunk? Yeah, we're out of bread. We're out of bread. I actually, I probably do have enough money to do an order at this point. So let's go. Well, let's take a look at Incredible Farmers. They've been good to us so far. So we need bread. Let's get um, two of those, actually. And do I want candles or do I want like wax or something? I don't feel that was the correct icon for that. I feel it was more like a wax icon than a candle icon. Hmm. Yeah, this was it. It was fat. So yeah, we need, we don't want candles for the torch. We want fat. Well, what's your price on bread? Your price on bread is not terrible. Okay. So over in Crossroads itself, they have the things that I need. I'm just going to see how long one thing of fat gets us. And anything else I need while I'm here? Your price on garlic is slightly cheaper, and I'm going to need it at some point anyway. And what was the other thing apart from the potatoes that I needed for the moss dumplings? Uh, flour and um, greens. Okay, what's your, what's your price on that kind of stuff? largely irrelevant because you don't have those. That's fine. Okay, that's totally fine. I've got some wax coming in. I mean, while I'm here, should I just get some more wine and or lager? You're a little pricey on that. A little pricey. And another thing that I was completely not doing correctly in the comments was making sure to haggle, because apparently it's guaranteed, which I didn't assume. I assumed that there was some sort of all right, in my gaming logic mind, I see this thing called haggle, and I assume that's some sort of chance, that's some sort of RNG, possibly modified by one of my speech checks. So, you know, I've got some, like, I think I have some reasonably good skill in wisdom. Maybe that would affect haggling or something like that. No, no, apparently it's just a guarantee. If I've got the, fl the five green scrolls, which I do, I can just get a discount. There we go. Now it's 10% off. Can I, can I keep doing that? Oh my god, I can just keep doing that. I mean, I'm spending scrolls. But great, I, I need that discount right now. I'm going to stop it at 20%. Okay, send that on its way. Thank you very much. That will get us by for a little bit longer, I think. Okay, keeping an eye on the taters here. How are we doing on that? Five. It's ready in five. I assume hours. If I speed that up a little bit... Can we get them? Can we shave that down a little bit? Move things a little bit faster here? Okay, potatoes are apparently ready in zero. Now what do I do with them? Can I can I harvest them? I don't want to cancel them. I, I will water them, apparently. How do I how do I get my potatoes? I would like to have my potato Okay, those look really done for me. Got it. Plant, fertilize, water. No, I don't want to do any of that. I want to go get them. How does how does that work? Are you doing it? Are, are you doing that right now? What's your icon? That looks like a repairy kind of icon. Although, no, you're heading for the garden. You are heading for the garden. I think we're getting some potatoes going on here. Yes, it appears my man has got some taters on board. Excellent. Um, I still need actually the other ingredients for that thing before we can make the Countess's dish. So what else do I need? I may as well do an order. I have some Gurdens coming in right now. So where is my menu? Moss dumplings I need still. Greens and flour. And what are we out of with sausage? Onions. Okay, so greens, flour, and onions onions and are we uh how are we doing on the old lager thing oh yeah we've, we've done a thing oh hi hello Alyssa. i'm i'm trying to deal with your recipe right now at the moment right now uh you've managed to get those potatoes yes it took me two times but i've i've got them i think i'm getting the hang of gardening shame it took so long hey lady lady i'm growing something from nature in the ground it's not magic you should be happy it only took 24 game hours uh, it took so long, I'm no longer hungry. 
Duchess Holt and Baroness Miel are such blabbermouths talking about my figure and not in a good way. All right. Uh, good food doesn't fatten up. Dig in. That's passion check. I've got a decent chance of that. Uh, not so much with deception. I could try intimidating her. No, my highest chance is on passion, so let's try that. Success, sound like my late husband. All right, and a relationship with her tightens. Super. Now what do you want? Now she wants a bard. Find me a bard, innkeeper. A good one, not a tramp singing drunk songs about his conquest of imaginary women. Okay, so I need to come up with some entertainment for the countess. Do you have any idea how much money you've cost me? Woman, really. Do you have any idea? How much money I've spent on you. Just you. Okay. Now you want a bard. That's fine. I build the admin's office and then there'll be a tab in the... Oh, wait. Totally different tavern management game. Hang on. Hang on. Right away, your excellency. Okay. So two things. Are my potatoes still here? And I'm going to go with a loose no. I may have lost that first crop to not watering them because I wasn't really paying attention I just kind of assumed that the drudge would periodically water them as needed, but manually watering them seems to do the trick. Okay, so um, do we need to plant things? Oh, we have carrots. And, oh, we have onions now. Okay, I do kind of need onions and carrots. And she doesn't seem to be busting to get her special dish. She's moved on to the whole bard issue, so I don't think there's any time crunch in getting that dish actually available for 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 cooking so i'm gonna okay i'm gonna plant onions here and then i'm gonna get some more of these yeah no surprise blowing all my money on gardening and, and decoratives but now that i have my little knowing how to move these things around with the control key i can really make the garden look like what i want it to look like instead of trying to snap it to something i don't suppose you'd like to let me put something here oh you will um, except I've done that totally wrong now. Okay, uh, how do I fix that? I don't even know if I want to fix it. I actually don't hate it like that, even though I just went through this whole thing of hating how it wouldn't snap. So get that. All right, plan B. I, I want to get rid of this, actually. let's. I want to sell that piece. I'm just going to keep it like that for right now. Okay, get out of that. Get out of that. Two more gardening patches. Onions in there. Why don't I put carrots in here and potatoes in here? Why the heck not? And I'm going to fertilize all of these two. I don't know with what. I did see in the storage when I was going through that that we can store ash. Ash is actually a remarkably good fertilizer. Um, pro tip for anyone who owns a fireplace and also is a gardener. Fireplace ash is a great fertilizer. It's how the old British chimney sweeps used to make most of their money back in the Victorian times. They would take the ash out to the country and sell it to farmers as fertilizer. So I did see we can store ash, so I'm assuming that's what we'd use to fertilizer. So even though I've checked off fertilize. I don't think we're actually going to be doing that, but I, I think I know how to do that in the future. And that is probably an excellent time to call it on Crossroads Inn for today. And I, I guess next time we're going to figure out how to get some entertainment in this place. And given a few more guldens in my pocket, I want to go forward with my plan of expanding the inn into this area here, making a larger main hall. I am well aware this is way too small. I, I totally understand that. Probably moving the guest room somewhere completely other and getting, well, just doing some construction and renovations around here. But we'll pick it up again next time. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. If you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Do more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I, don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. Bugs are inherently stupid, and they get in places and they can't get out. You know what places they get in? Things that are wide open that don't have screens over them! It's a piece of mesh! We figured this out like a hundred years ago! What is wrong with the British, the Irish? Is it just a show about foxes all the time? If so, is that some sort of subtle esoteric thing about being a weapons manufacturer? Or is it just stuck on the Nature Channel?